morning we're in park city i'm chugging a liquid iv these are so good and fun i don't like i honestly i don't even think it's necessary like i'm not even fucking skiing but any excuse for a fun drink Ooh. but we're here with jack's family and our friends jack and sit for the long weekend it's president's day so we just figured we'd make a trip out of it the flights are so expensive like right ahead of a long weekend so we got here um on monday night just kind of spent the week here working from home it's just so nice and refreshing to be somewhere else and utah is two hours off from new york so we like wake up early work from home and then we still have so much day like ending at four it's it's the best jack and sid took off today and me and jack are working i'm about to finish up the work day and then the weekend is ours i might get my nails done today and then we're gonna meet jack and sid at the mountain and drink we're gonna drink the view here is insane like a green screen for real. But truly, like, all of Utah is picturesque. But I never even come here. I never even came here before I started dating Jack. I'd never been out west. Like, we just, we never went here growing up. And once you get here, you completely understand the hype. It's just so beautiful. Everything's focused on the outdoors and being active. Like, everyone just wants to, like, be hiking, biking, skiing. It's just, it's another world. And his parents love it. Definitely gonna find some kind of nail salon. I think we're gonna eat and then Jack's gonna drive me. I can drive, like I know how to drive. I grew up in the suburbs, but like driving out here, it's like really hilly and mountainy and windy and just like, it's not for me. So I will be passenger princess. Let's go eat. Sorry, to the salon. Where are we going? Main Street. Jack's still doing a little bit of work, but I'm done. So he's gonna drop me off on Main Street, which is like the main area with all the shops and stuff. And I'm gonna get my nails done. And it's good because if I'm done, he's still working. I can just up around, entertain myself. Just got done with my nails. I did like this pinky purple. I don't know why, but it like kind of reminds me of Hannah Montana. I like it. The culture out here is so kind. Like you're just sitting at the nail salon and people just start talking to you like just for shits. Like no one does that in New York. Like if I'm parked next to another person at the nail salon, we have a mutual understanding of like, you don't want to talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. Like that's it. But I ended up being seated next to this young girl who was only like a few years younger than me. And we were talking and she's in, I might be butchering this, but she's in an outpatient program here in Utah. Like for, for substance abuse. I mean, if there's anywhere to be clean, in the country of America. It's, it's Utah. I mean, because of the Mormon presence here, like so many people either don't drink or it's really, really difficult to obtain alcohol here. Like I remember I um, was drinking once at a restaurant and I was like, oh, like this drink's a little light. Like, could I get an extra shot? And they're like, not in Utah. But on a real level, she was such a cool person. And, and like going to Indiana, like being at like a big party school, I feel like I'm so desensitized to like, what alcohol abuse and like what substance abuse looked like because it was just so normalized like i like will never forget the imagery of like being at a bar with guys my age who were literally falling on top of me because they were like mixing drugs and alcohol and it was literally so scary really enlightening to talk to her but now jack's done with work he's coming to pick me up and then we're gonna go pick up jack and sit from the mountain then i think i think we're gonna go see some live music there's I'm so out of breath because one, I'm so fucking out of shape. <laughs> Two, the elevation. Three, I'm sweating. It's sunny and I really layered up. But we're gonna pick them up from skiing. They're skiing at Canyons today. And then who knows? Yes. <laughs> ah! No, no, no. Me and Jack we got into a tiff when he was dropping me off at the nail place, and we're still a little, we're still a little edgy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this place was so hidden, like so, so off the beaten path. And I'm not the one for directions. And Jack was like, I left the house to take you. It was. Not our best moment. But we're going to meet Jack and Sid at Canyons. What is this music thing? I genuinely don't know. Grateful Dead. Oh my god, I'm not asking about the music on the radio. I'm asking about the live music that we're seeing at the mountain. There's live music? Isn't that the whole- isn't that why we're going? Isn't that the whole thing? I have no idea. Your dad said that there's- starting at like 4 p.m. at the bottom of the mountain, there's like food trucks and like music. News to me. I didn't know. <laughs> I can literally kill you. Die. Your parents are always telling us about these really exciting, like, one-off experiences that don't exist. Like, your mom invited me to go, um, what did she invite me to do? Line dancing. I was like, oh, I got so excited. She was like, oh, actually, it doesn't exist. <laughs> Only once a month. Thanks a heap, Nance. Also, also, they were on the lift today. They're like, they just called me. They're like, guess who we saw? And they were like, we saw this girl who knows you. 
me, keep in mind, this girl is a girl who saw me at a party last week and didn't say hello. You didn't say hello either, though. But I, we made eyes. Listen, I was the I was the one on Never. the outside of this situation. She was with all of her friends. Mm. Mm. It was the ball was in her court. In my opinion, yeah, she's using me for clout on the mountain. Just to give a little context, so Jack is Jack's best friend from childhood, and they used to be roommates. Turn left on Canyons Resort Drive. <laughs> Drive. We see the sign. And then Caroline moved in and kicked his ass to the curb. Yeah. Jack I took Jack was living in that moves. apartment with Jack, the one that I live in now. He was always moving in with Sid. Yeah. They were well it takes seeing another couple moving in together to be like, mm, are we allowed to do that? And Jack and Sid went to Vanderbilt together, that's where they met. where there's no assigned seating and there's no wait list. So you're just kind of like hovering <laughs> upon people, being like, are you done with your meal? Can we sit here, please? And you best believe Caroline has no shame. No, no, <laughs> absolutely none. if they were done. <laughs> no, I was like, is someone else sitting next to you? I see an open chair, like the most desperate energy. But hey, it got the job done and we got a table and we got a few appies, but like not like, not like dinner. So we're just gonna pick up sushi in town. And then probably just go back to Jackson. Play board games. <laughs> we're not that lame. Maybe we'll watch a rom-com. I thought we were gonna play uh, code, code game. Code names. Code code. Code games. Code, code names. Ooh. Ooh. Careful. This guy must fell. <laughs> but I think we're gonna try to play code names. But every time I try to play code names, she's too drunk. I'm wasty. <laughs> They're about to kill. <laughs> Sydney is cold. <laughs> oh, you don't think <laughs> you don't think this is the best time to update our community? <laughs> You're not. <laughs> Last night ended up being so sweet and so wholesome. Like we just got drinks at a bar. We're trying to debate if we we're gonna go out to dinner, but then we all just kind of looked at each other and agreed. We're tired. <laughs> we just wanted to like pick up sushi and hang out at home. On trips like this with friends, I feel like there's a lot of pressure to like be doing something all the time. We're only here for a certain amount of time. Like we should go out and like Sid and Jack are just and not that way at all. Like they don't even have an ounce of FOMO, which is great. It's it's good for me and Jack because we're very we're very easily influenced. And if we had guests that wanted to be out 24/7, like we would be out till the break of dawn because <laughs> we want to be good hosts. This is like one of my first like couples trips I've ever been on. I feel so adult. Like is this what adults do? You just kind of like Noah's Ark with your significant other and like drink cocktails and like. Hur, hur, hur. I saw this girl on TikTok say that she sleeps with her hair in like a high bun on top of her head with a claw clip. Like it almost looks like like a 2012 sock bun. I've just been wrapping it and then clipping it right here while I sleep and it doesn't move. My hair looks so much better in the morning. Like I feel like I just have a lot of hair and I feel like it like braids itself and like mattifies in the night if I don't do anything to it. And I woke up and I'm very... I'm very impressed with the results. Like if you have unruly hair, definitely try that and let me know if it helps. But it's about 9.45 now. We're on mountain time, so it's like technically in my brain because I've been waking up so early for work every day, it's like 11.45. <laughs> and so I'm like really eager to get the day started even though it's still so early. But I woke up to my period. Obsessed. I'm such a fuckboy about my period because I have an IUD and I'm, I'm like not worried about pregnancy. Like I don't track my period at all. <laughs> And every time I get it, I'm like stunned. Like I'm genuinely surprised because I don't track it. But because of that, I'm always ill prepared. And thankfully I had like a tampon at the bottom of the drawer. But Jack and Jack, please. It's so confusing and so annoying that they're both named Jack. They went to go return their skis this morning and they're like, great, we'll just go pick you up tampons. And Jack knows, Jack knows the ones I like at this point. I have the heaviest motherfucking blow. So it's super or super plus or nothing. And so he'll get those for me and then We'll be good to go, but my anxiety about this 
crystal white bed. Like, you know we're going down. I'm so scared. But is while we're here, isn't this bed just like the yummiest? Jack's mom just has like immaculate taste. She used to do like interior design professionally. So everything in the house is just like... I feel like with a lot of interior designers, they either like go super maximalist or like everything looks like you're in a museum and it's not homey. And she just like does a really good job of making everything look pulled together, but also it's like comfy, it's cozy. She has these Sunday Citizen blankets that are just so soft and comfortable. I've used the Barefoot Dreams and these are just so much softer. And then under here, she has so many layers. It's another Sunday Citizen blanket and then it's a parachute duvet. This boucle bed frame is from CB2. I've been doing my morning in pictures on TikTok where I do like the carousels and I break down everything that I'm doing. And then after I post a video, I do like a worth the hype where I do like a green screen. And I'm like talking through everything in the video and say what's worth the money. And I was talking about the Sunday Citizen blankets because they're so great. They're so yummy. And they slid in. They slid into my DMs. They're sending me blankets. I'm freaking out. I'm so excited. I don't know. Influencing is such a mind fuck. Like it's crazy that like when you put things into the world, the brands see it and they're like, oh, like we'll send you that. Girl. And up until today, me and Jack have been working and then Jack and Sid have been going to the mountains. So this is our first day where we can like really take the town and we're gonna take it. We're gonna grab her by the ball. I'm gonna do a little light makeup we're with Jack's girlfriend Sid, who is like the chillest, most low maintenance, like takes two seconds to get ready, and I'm like <laughs> My everyday base in the winter is always the Kosas Pump and Juicy. That's the mist I use. And then for a moisturizer, I use their First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. If you're extra dry and extra sensitive, this is the best in my opinion. If you're acne prone and also if you ever get facial eczema, I used to have really bad eczema on my eye, like going into my inner corner and I could never wear eyeshadow there. When I tell you this cleared it up overnight, I swear it's always on sale. Like I was looking on QVC the other day, they had a big sale and even on the first day website, they were doing a buy one, get one free. And sometimes when things are on sale all the time, I'm like, what's wrong with it? But <laughs> I swear this is really great. Let that sit for a second. And then I'm gonna top it off with the Shiseido Urban Environment Sunscreen. When you're somewhere snowy, you have to be so fucking extra about sunscreen because it all reflects off the snow and even though you're cold, you're like, mm, like the sun's probably not that bright. No, bitch, you're gonna burn. I thought everyone was on the same page about SPF, but my friend came over the other night. She's like, oh yeah, like I don't really wear sunscreen every day. Wake the fuck up, girl. I feel like there's so much noise out there about skincare, but one thing that everyone can agree on is moisturizer SPF. But for during the day here, I'm gonna use the Say Slip Tint. The pump has been a little like, mm. so I've just been opening it and squirting it right onto my hand. The coverage on this is so unmatched. Like you really don't need that much product to get legit coverage and it lasts so long. I've seen other people apply this with like a beauty blender, but I feel like I can't imagine applying a tinted moisturizer not with my hands. Not to go like all Meredith Duxbury on you, but I feel like you would lose a lot of product. And then for concealer, I do stay loyal to my Kosas. I tried the Say Hydra Beam. It's good, but I feel like it's meant for the girl who doesn't have like a lot of shit to cover. Like the only thing that I brought, that I forgot that I really wish I did bring is like a setting spray. I do have the Kosas Pump and Juicy. And that works nicely for sinking my makeup into my skin, but it doesn't necessarily make it long lasting. Yeah, I wish I, I fumbled the bag there. Maybe Sid will have some. No, no she won't. No she won't, what am I fucking saying? I need to show you the size of her makeup bag versus mine because it is whew, laughable. And then I like to use a lot of blush here. I mean, I like to use a lot of blush always. It's just the Merit Blush and Cheeky. Merit just came out with a lot of different colors of this blush. I've never used any besides this one. This is like my go-to. I want to get more colors because I just love the formula. A little bit of bronzer. I feel like no one knows that Kosas has a baked bronzer. And I've been using it for so long. I like cream bronzers too, but I feel like every time I use a cream bronzer, I just end up contouring. And that's not what it's meant for. I just can't help it. Kosas Airbrow. I don't know if I'm going to do mascara, but for now, this is the beat. BRB, my dream kitchen. We just stopped for gas and we're about to go to the cowboy store. This store nice. is so expansive. It's insane. It's like multiple stories of just like every cowboy, like accessories, boots, jackets, etc. But they also have really good brands. Like they have like Carhartt there and their clearance section is just very out of pocket. I found, said I found once there, a we wore what? Like pair of pants. Wait, where? At this cowboy store. Oh. Like what is. I'm so excited. What is like we wore what rejects? 
doing in the bottom of the barrel of the cowboy store in Camas, Utah. Like, the math isn't mathing, but I'll show you the whole store. And apparently they're 25% off today. And not that I need boots, but I might need oh, some boots. Shit. So we're going to do some damage. Love. Love, obviously. Jack, how do we feel about it? I mean, I like it, but oh. I'm biased towards the next one. The other one, I like. They both have the trim at the bottom, but I don't know. I tried last time I came here. I almost bought one, but I talked myself out of it because usually, like, I cook in like a big T-shirt, you know. But maybe like if you have it, company. you'll use it. The one you have on now, you can only wear certain times of the year. The other one, you, you can think? wear. All year. Wait, why? <laughs> what the fuck? It's like more it's spring like... floral. This is also. <laughs> what are you saying? That one, but that one's like less. They're both less spring pink. florals. You're... Jack, you try on the other one so we can see them yeah, both at once. Fine. Wait, why does it suit you better? That's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Great. It's I mean, the neck. I, yeah, I feel <laughs> the little pockets. You could put like spatulas in here. <laughs> Napkins. Oh yeah. This area right here. Instead. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah? Mom. Really? For you or me? For you. <laughs> it really suits him. He looks so good. I think it's your height. It's like perfect. I'm a little petite for these. Should I go to the tailor? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, it's perfect length. Wait. No, but I'm. Oh, so cute. Really cute, Sid. Wow. Love. Sydney. Also, I feel like all the home decor stuff in here is just so you. Yeah, I know. Like, yeah, Jack wanted to get this farm animal yeah. thing. I think the other one. The white one? Yeah. yeah. And that one is good for me. I told you, the white one you can wear year round. That one you can't. <laughs> Shut up. There's no seasonality with these aprons. <laughs> I'm going to be a whole mood with the pioneer woman's skirt. And the apron. And the apron. <laughs> oh my god. She's going ham. The pig. The sheep. The rooster, the chicken. <laughs> nicely at Bolt. I feel like everyone got something. We're going to the Bell Jar, which is like a good like home decor store. Like I feel like every place here has the same aesthetic where it's like farm vibes, which isn't a bad thing. Cozy. It's a very, it's a consistent aesthetic, but we'll go and see what they have. What do we have to say? Little, little <laughs> kitchen. Yeah. Today's actually not only turned into so much shopping. Who's better shopper? Of you two, Nancy was asking. I said you, Caroline. Me? Yes. Yeah. Who's better shopper? I said Sydney's very good, but you're excellent. At what? Well, you want a Tesla thing? Finding yeah. some things about At buy. shopping. <laughs> buying stuff. All right, yeah, you're better at buying stuff. Now we're going into town to Main Street. I think we're gonna, we're just gonna keep the shopping going. We're gonna hit free people and all the little shops there. Tripped and fell into the cheese store and this hat fell onto my head. Oh, what an accident. It, you know, and I feel like. Since potato chip. I feel like it's so good. We're never gonna make it to town. Getting the hat and two different kinds of jerky. I love beef jerky. I'm so glad I found my people. Yeah. yeah. Which one do you want? And now I'm opening the pepper one. Mmm. The, the pepper one's completely different. I think I like it better. Best free people in the game. <laughs> There's something about a ski town free people. This Utah lighting just, it doesn't quit. It's so good to us. Good thing you self-tanned. <laughs> exactly. Good thing I self-tanned and also, 
that's why the blogger culture is so effing rampant in Utah because you can't take a bad pic. We're about to go on a dog walk with Jack's mom and our friends Jack and Sid. It's Jack and Sid's last day here, so we're trying to like do the last few little things. Yesterday was like bus club, another club bus. Yeah, like, we did it all. We did. We did it all. <laughs> we did. Conquered. We did Park City in a day. I swear, mine is skiing because they already did that. But we're gonna do the dog walk, and then hopefully we might go to Five Seats for brunch, which is like the go-to healthy brunch place in Park City. Not gonna like the health food here is far and few between. So like, I feel like Five Seats is the one place you can get like a bowl with like quinoa and kale. You know? They yeah. <laughs> California vibe. Yeah, exactly. So we're gonna do that and then we'll take them to the airport. Just dropped Jack and Sid at the airport. The couple's trip has officially we're in Salt Lake City and Jack's co-worker who I've met, I met him once like two years ago, <laughs> but he's here in Salt Lake because he has a podcast about basketball. And what is it called this weekend? All-Star Weekend. It's All-Star Weekend. It's hosted in Utah. Honestly, I don't really know what All-Star Weekend is. So all the best players get vote. They vote every year on who are the best players in the league. Yeah. And then they all, um, all the best players that season get voted into the game. So it's all the Continue top players North from the whole drive for half a in mile. one game. And they play all the Eastern teams or best players are on one team and the West on the other and they play against each other. That's actually so cool. Yeah. It's, kind of, it's like fantasy come to life almost. Okay, okay. So this year it's in Salt Lake. So he's here literally by himself. I give him so much credit, like just to see the game and to cover it. So tired that I think we're just gonna hang out here and make some food at home. I made a soup and Nancy Jack's mom made some cabbage, like a black bean situation. <laughs> the cabbage. The cabbage, the situation. great unveiling. Exactly. And then honestly, I don't really know what this is. Oh, it's trout with mushrooms left over from a yummy dinner last night. Where'd you guys go? We went to the Black Rock Hotel for a quick bite nearby. Nice. Yeah. I love mushrooms like that. Those are my favorite. Mm hmm Like shiitake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The little ones. Little trout is very popular here in Utah. Mm. We're eating like the locals. Good morning. It's Monday. It's President's Day. We have the day off, which is so nice, but I can't lie. It's just been like a really tumultuous morning. I have a really heavy period, and I talk about it all the time, and... I used to wear things so much, like things were my lifeline, but they're in the midst of a lawsuit for PFAs and like toxic chemicals. And like the last thing you want is toxic chemicals like on your fucking vagina. And I bled the bed so bad. And it just like, I know it's not my fault, but it always feels like my fault. And it just like, it sucks. And I literally earlier on this vlog, like I foreshadowed this. It's just like, look at that bed. You know that bet was meant to be ruined by Big Bad. It's normal, it's out of our hands. Thankfully, Jack's parents are so sweet about it. And he, most importantly, he's the best about it. Like he, no questions asked, like springs into action. It's like crubbing, cleaning, like he's, he's really the best, but it's just like, ugh. the period anxiety is so real. Like if you have a heavy flow for, I mean, for me it lasts seven days, like for seven days straight, you're just like on the brink. But it's fine, everything, everything's in the laundry. We shake it off, we move on. And today we're gonna, spend some quality time with his parents. We're gonna go to one of the ski resorts and do like one of the fun little brunches. There's so many great like restaurants and buffets and really great resorts here for skiing. So I'm gonna finish that, throw up the vlog, and then then we're really done in Utah. We're taking the red eye on Tuesday, which is, it's never fun. It's never fun to take a red eye and like wake up and work a whole day. But when you're working from home, it's just like, you can, you can grin and bear it. It's not that deep. And also I would rather have the full day here than spend like, our day off traveling. I think I might vlog like the red eye into the work from home, which might be some self sabotaging on my end, but I think it's interesting to see like how people set themselves up. Like we always like to order groceries in advance. Like we kind of do this a lot. So I think it would be cool to share. So definitely look out for that. But 
thank you so much for joining me as always i love doing these and especially like when we get to get out of new york and share something different with you guys i love that um so thank you so much and please subscribe what are you doing if you already have you're the best have a good week to the vlog <laughs> Say I'm a huge fan of the vlog and it's such an honor to now be filmed and to be a part of it. Um, I just feel like I've been on this journey for a while now and to, to see it come full circle from being behind the camera to in front of the camera is, is it's beautiful. <laughs>